assalamu alaikum everyone uh, dear student i hope you are fine and doing well so today uh, our lecture is about uh, some number theory uh, theory uh, number theory concept which uh, play a quite important role uh, in cryptography so uh, our this uh, basically a series of lecture that is based on number theory is consists of three lectures and uh, next two more lecture will also be uh, on the same topic number theory uh, so how uh, number theory is evolved uh, around cryptography and uh, around about our other uh, concept uh, of in, in artificial intelligence and uh, computer graphics and uh, image uh, processing so today um, we will talk about uh, number theory. Uh, since uh, all of you know the number theory plays an important role in uh, encryption algorithms. Cryptography uh, is more or less is the practice of uh, basically hiding information or you can say converting some secret information to not readable uh, information. Today, uh, our lecture aims to introduce the student to application of number theory in cryptography. Uh, not uh, too many uh, concept of uh, number theory, but uh, explicitly some very uh, short overview of some uh, number theory concepts that will be quite helpful uh, in our um, uh, subsequent uh, or in our oncoming uh, lecture of cryptography. So uh, we will briefly talk about tools in number theory like primes, divisor, uh, congruence classes, Euler five functions, and uh, the uh, which is uh, also uh, used in cryptography for security uh, in our public key cryptography. So dear student, uh, uh, let us start our uh, today lecture objective. So today, uh, the, uh, our lecture objective is uh, to, okay. Today our lecture objectives are uh, placed in uh, our head. We will uh, review some integer arith arithmetics and like divisibility, uh, GCD, uh, including algorithm, how to find out the remainder or how to find out the common divisor or how you can find out inverse through including algorithm. Then we will understand how to extend the including algorithm to solve uh, some linear congruent equations or to find the multiplicative inverses. So dear student, uh, uh, the question arises why we are going to solve some congruence equations. Uh, because uh, a system of equation in uh, congruent uh, mo or modulo classes uh, have uh, application in um, like uh, uh, Rabin crypto system uh, while you are using uh, like uh, some uh, quadratic residue or non-quadratic -quadr residue classes. So here we have uh, to utilize CRT, Chinese remainder theorem. Here the concept of solving linear congruence equation or concept of uh, these uh, integer arithmetics are quite helpful. So that is why before developing this uh, crypto system that is start from integer factorization uh, problem or and another problem like uh, there are fundamentally three problems in uh, public key cryptography uh, uh, that is one is the integer factorization problem second one is logarithmic problem and third one is elliptic curves uh, cryptography or elliptic problem so we will talk about uh, integer factorization and uh, uh, discrete uh, logarithmic a problem for that we have to uh, uh, basically uh, 
um, are these basic concepts which of number theory, which will be quite helpful uh, for you people uh, to have to have understand the, uh, the, the idea of this public key cryptography. So, uh, dear student, uh, let us uh, start uh, uh, with some uh, integer. Um, what are the topics of uh, our today lectures? Uh, this is uh, that's the objective, but the topic of today lecture is uh, about set of uh, integers, and we will discuss the a uh, few other sets and binary operation on the uh, these. Uh, uh, set of uh, uh, integers and who will familiar with this set and the corresponding operation but they are reviewed here to create a background for modular arithmetic. Uh, dear student if you can look over here uh, these are all some uh, equation uh, basic concepts but I am not going to discuss this uh, linear Daffodian equation. I just write it over here, but uh, keep this thing in your mind. I will not go into the detail of this Daffodian equation. This is a pure uh, one um, very uh, big topic of uh, number theory. So we have to just uh, short our lecture uh, in order to understand uh, the uh, the uh, what are the basically need or uh, some basic uh, uh, concept of uh, number theory. Uh, in order to understand the uh, our public key cryptography, not uh, as a whole course of uh, number theory. So uh, the most important things are uh, uh, today our lecture is all about set of integer. Um, the topic which will be discussed over here is the set of integer binary operations on set of integer integer uh, division or divisibility. And uh, these are basically the four topics which will be discovered, uh, will cover in this lecture. So, a set of integers. Uh, if you can look over here uh, in your, uh, uh, in this figure number one, these are set of integers. Set of integers consists of some positive numbers, then negative number, then one neutral element. If you can say a set of integer is this uh, union of negative numbers and these and a, with a set of whole number or you can say set of negative number and neutral element and set of natural number that is counted from one to two one to up to so on so if you can see these are our just uh, 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 set of integers and uh, this is uh, one of the subset of uh, set of uh, real number. So the binary operation of our uh, set of integers are basically uh, like this one, like if you can, this is the binary operations uh, plus minus a static. Uh, what binary operation basically uh, did? It take two elements from any set and produce only one element like uh, if you can uh, take two elements like this one, the, uh, A and B are two elements. So if I can take this, uh, if you can look. Okay. Uh, if you can look over here, the binary operation operate on two input and create one output like C. If you take two input from the set and operate any of these binary operations like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication. If you take like minus uh, like uh, one and two, if you can add, you will get three. It is also in Z. So if you can take uh, uh, multiply one and two, you will get two, which is again in this set. If you can uh, subtract one and two, that is minus one, you, uh, minus one is again here. So C is the, basically the output. You take two input and you uh, produce uh, one output. And this is a basically binary operation that operate on two input. So, so dear student, these are uh, number systems, which are, uh, followed in uh, different uh, sciences. So uh, let me uh, uh, 
introduce uh, these numbers. Uh, one, two, three, these are natural numbers that are naturally counted. Uh, and these are set of basically integers. That is negative number, neutral element, and then, and then uh, one uh, positive number. These are set of integers. And these are uh, irrational numbers that are, can be written as uh, fractions. Or these are uh, irrational numbers that is pi under root 2. So, and these are basically the, the, the these as a whole, uh, this as a whole is uh, basically real number. All these uh, natural numbers, set of integers, set of whole numbers, set of rational numbers, set of irrational numbers are all the uh, subset of uh, real numbers. And these are pure imaginary number. And uh, the and uh, also one can say pure imaginary number. And these are uh, also the subset of uh, complex number. And the complex number is the uh, one of the uh, bigger uh, set in the number system uh, available uh, right now. So uh, I just uh, uh, sum up this. We will focus on set of integer because of modular arithmetics. Because we want uh, modular arithmetics, we have to make classes, and each class is not just one element. It is the it is the class. If I can say zero class, if I can say uh, uh, modulo classes uh, is uh, consist of classes. So in classes we need set of integers numbers. So we will more or less focus on set of integers in our uh, 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 next slides of uh, our present lecture. So uh, dear student, uh, these are some uh, basically the, the some very basic knowledge about the how the binary operation will operate i have discussed in uh, our previous slides uh, on slide number four how the binary operation will operate the integer uh, division or remainder theorem in uh, uh, integer arithmetics uh, if we have to divide a by n we uh, can get q and r and uh, in that case the relation uh, between these four integers can be shown as a, a, the, with the help of this expression. A is dividend and uh, basically uh, N is uh, divisor and Q, Q is uh, and R is remainder. Uh, let me elaborate this with the help of one very simple example. If you have a seven biscuits and if you want to divide it by two, you will get three then remainder is one. Uh, so it means if you divide seven by two, it means you want to uh, make a group of two from these seven uh, biscuits, and the, you will get the, in each group you will get three biscuits and one is uh, the remainder. It means seven is divided by two equals to three with remainder one. You can write it. Uh, uh, the seven is dividend, and two is divisor, and three is quotient, and uh, one is remainder. If you can write it uh, in the form of uh, uh, remainder theorem, so in that case, seven can be written as a two times three plus one. In that case, three is quotient, uh, two is divisor and seven is fundamentally dividend and one is remainder. This is very simple example to understand the remainder theorem. So assume that we have A which is uh, dividend 25 and N is 11. We can find Q and uh, 23 and R is two using Devin uh, algorithm. So if you have divided this by the remainder will be uh, two. So in that case, if you can write it, uh, in that case, the Q is 23 uh, and your remainder is uh, two and uh, dividend is uh, uh, basically dividend in 255, divisor is 11 and quotient in 23. In that case, uh, we can find uh, this. Uh, in, uh, if you can see over here, um, uh, Devian algorithm for integer. If you take any a and it is divided by n, then it can be written as a q times 
n plus r where r is some non negative integer it may be negative integer so in that case uh, you will get q from set of integer uh, dear student uh, uh, let us take one example when we use computer or calculator r and q are negative when a is uh, say negative how can we apply the restriction that r needed to be positive the solution is simple we decrement the value of q by 1 and add the value of n to r to make it positive like it if uh, minus 255 is divided by 11 so minus 23 time 11 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 250 if we add just uh, decrease decrement decrease uh, minus 22 it is minus 20 if you decrease it uh, it will move minus 24 time 11 plus 9 so in that case your r will be uh, positive if you decrease uh, this quotient by 1 so divisibility if a is not zero and we let remainder is zero in the division relation we will get a equal to q time n if the remainder is zero and a is divided by n if the remainder is not zero then a is not divided by n uh, let us take one example if the integer 4 divide the integer 32 because 32 is 8 times 4 we can show this at 4 divide 32. This means that's 4 divide 32. Uh, some properties like a is divided by 1, then a is, uh, it is only one possibility that a must be plus minus 1. Property number 2, if a is divided by b and b is divided by a, then a is equal to plus minus b. If a is divided by b and b is divided by the c then a is divided by c if a is divided by b property number four if a is divided by b and c a is divided by c then a is also divided by the linear combination of b and c like a is divided by uh, basically a divides the linear combination of these it means a divides b a divides c then a also divides the linear combination of a cross B plus uh, uh, N cross C, uh, where where N, M and N are arbitrary integers. Let us take one example. If you have 30, uh, 13 divided 72 and 7 divided 93, then minus 6 is also divisible by 24. Uh, four, uh, 4 divides 44 and 11 divides minus uh, 33. We have uh, also uh, 30, 13 does not divide 27, 7 does not divide 50, minus 6 does not divide 23, 4 does not divide 41 and 11 does not divide minus 32. Uh, let us take another example. Since 3 divides 15 and 15 divides 45, according to third uh, property, then 3 divides 45. Also, since 13 divided by 3 divides 15 and 3 divides 9, then according to fourth property, 3 also divides linear combination of that is 15 and 9, time 2 plus 9 into 4 which is means 3 divides 66. Uh, let, us, uh, 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 let us have two important facts about a set of integers. The integer one has only one divisor, that is itself. One is divided by one. Any positive integer has at least two divisors, that is identity one and uh, itself but uh, it can have more but this is fact uh, one is divided by only one self divisor and the another uh, is, uh, we can call it uh, as a, the effect two is basically the trivial divisor of uh, some positive integer like um, divisor of 40s are like this one and divisor of 12 are this one 
the common divisor to these are uh, uh, divisor of 1, 40, uh, 40 and 12 are 1, 2, 4. Uh, greatest common divisor. The greatest common divisor of the two positive integers is the largest integer that can divide both uh, integers. If I can say the GCD of uh, 13 and 26, what will be the answer? The answer is 13. If I can say GCD of 12 and like 26, what will be the, your answer? The GCD is 2. If I can say GCD of 5 and 26, then what are the common divisor, greatest common divisor that divide both 5 and 26? It is only one element, which is identity, which is 1. In that case, 5 and 26 are co-prime or relatively relative prime. Uh, these are two facts we have to take it uh, and consider it um, and uh, uh, like uh, if GCD of A and 0 is A, GCD of A and B is equal to GCD of B and R where R is the remainder of uh, dividing A by A by B. In that case, dear student, if you can uh, uh, see our hair.